and overdose deaths. Over the last several years, deaths by synthetic opioids have been on a sharp incline, while overdose deaths by fentanyl. What drug users and people who work with them in Philadelphia talk about is the smell. The smell of rotting flesh from open infected wounds. Some users say they feel ashamed of the state of their bodies. But more feel a sense of urgency. They need help. The wounds are killing them. It is absolutely horrible. That's the reality, though, said James Sherman, known as Sherm around Philadelphia's Kensington neighborhood, where he once used drugs and where he now tries to help those still on the streets. The need for help has become more urgent over the last three years, as the animal tranquilizer xylazine, also called Trank, has become a bigger part of Philly's street fentanyl supply. Xylazine can cause large wounds that won't heal, no matter where you inject it, and they can appear even if you snort it or smoke it. Infections are common and can even lead to amputations. Some people aren't ready to see that yet, Sherman said. It's literally people's flesh rotting, and you can smell it. Kensington has seen the changing nature of America's addiction crisis. It has been well known as a place to buy heroin under the elevated rail line, a short distance, but a world away from the business and tourist centers of downtown. Heroin was edged out by the more powerful synthetic opioid fentanyl. But fentanyl's effects don't last as long as heroin, and so xylazine was added to street fentanyl to give it legs, according to Sarah Laurel, who founded Savage Sisters, the harm reduction group that employs Sherman. Xylazine is not approved for humans, but it's widely available for veterinarians to sedate large animals like horses. Like an opioid, it can kill pain but it cannot be reversed with Narcan. Also known as naloxone, which is used to treat opioid overdoses, according to the U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency. As xylazine is usually mixed in with fentanyl, naloxone can help an overdose person by counteracting the opioid. Though other measures may be needed. Workers at Savage Sisters now carry oxygen tanks with them. The drug has side effects like trank walk, where people seem unaware of their surroundings, along with sores and wounds. Trank made its mark on Philadelphia's street drugs about three years ago. That's when doctors, users and those who try to help them saw a difference. Synthetic opioids, like fentanyl, are fueling the rise in overdose deaths. Over the last several years, deaths by synthetic opioids have been on a sharp incline, while overdose deaths by heroin have dropped off. Drug overdose deaths per 100,000 U.S. residents, 2001 to 2021. Nobody was coming to Kensington to buy Trank, they were coming to get heroin, said Laurel of the Savage Sisters group. You don't go to your drug dealer and say, do you have a nutrition label with this? You get what you get and you don't get upset. And whatever you get you eventually feel a physical compulsion to do she said. Kensington now the fentanyl supply has adulterants to xylazine, is in 9 out of 10 samples of lab-tested dope in Philadelphia. Once upon a time, in the summer of 2017, a challenging and life-altering experience unfolded. It was a moment that taught me a valuable lesson about the dangers of drugs. Let me share this story with you. During that fateful summer, I made a choice that would change my life forever. I decided to inject a substance called Philly Dope into my body. Little did I know that it contained a powerful drug called fentanyl. The consequences were more severe than anything I could have imagined. As the drug coursed through my veins, I immediately fell gravely ill. It was as if I had become a character in a science fiction movie, where an alien creature threatened to burst out of my chest. The agony I experienced during withdrawal was unlike anything I had ever encountered before. In an attempt to alleviate the excruciating pain of withdrawal, I turned to Suboxone, a synthetic opioid known to help ease the process. I had used it successfully in the past to overcome addiction and achieve sobriety. However, this time, it seemed powerless against the overwhelming hold of addiction. The withdrawal symptoms were relentless, and I realized that leaving this vicious cycle would not be easy, nor could I do it alone. These moments served as a wake-up call for me. I recognized the tremendous power of addiction and the immense difficulty of breaking free from its grasp. It was a realization that drugs have the ability to control our lives, manipulating our thoughts, actions, and emotions. 
It was clear that I had to make a choice, a choice to fight, to seek help, and to reclaim my life from the clutches of addiction. Remember, my friends, this story is a reminder of the dangers that lurk within the world of drugs. It is a cautionary tale about the consequences of making the wrong choices. It's crucial to understand that addiction is a powerful force that can have devastating effects on our lives. Let this story be a lesson and a motivation for all of us to say no to drugs. Let's cherish our health, protect our well-being, and support one another on the path to a drug-free life. Together, we can overcome the challenges, break free from addiction, and build a future filled with hope, happiness, and endless possibilities. Overdose Death of the Wire Actor Michael K. Williams New York, AP, four men believed to be members of a drug distribution crew have been charged in the overdose death of actor Michael K. Williams five months ago, authorities said.